Okay. Thank you so much for having me here. Uh, my name is Orion Buskey. I work at a company called Gene42 uh, in Toronto, Canada. I'm here sort of partly on behalf of the work uh, that I do at that company, as well as the software tool uh, that we make and, and build on top of called Phenotips, as well as a role in the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health, where I work on helping to set standards for phenotypic and, and genomic data exchange. Um, so here I'll be talking just a little bit of an update on some of the past biohackathon projects that we've been working on, uh, and then what I hope to be working on as part of this, this event. Um, so here is a quick update on a few of these past projects. So the first of which is up at the top. So in some of the past years, we've worked on connecting different resources, including PubCase Finder and iRUD to the Matchmaker Exchange, which is a network of different databases around the world, which have uh, patient information, uh, de-identified information on patients with rare genetic diseases, Nambio, uh, and then helping doctors with similar patients find each other. So there are two different resources in Japan that have been connected up to this network. Uh, I'm interested in touching base with some of those collaborators here and finding out how, what the sort of current usage and, and results of that work uh, has been. Uh, another project that we worked on two years ago was a, a website called Variant Facts around subscribing to changes in clinical annotation for resources in ClinVar. Uh, unfortunately, shortly after that went live, there was a lot of interest from ClinVar and others, but one of the source file formats changed, it was improved, but it broke one of the dependencies that we were relying on for it, and I haven't had a chance to get around to fixing that. Um, there was also some work that happened after, I think, with Med to RDF, um, with Kariyama and Kawashima-san, uh, and so I was curious about how that might, whether or not that makes sense to pull in as part of a, you know, an RDF representation for some of that data that might be useful to resurrect some of that. Uh, also in the last year, we added support for the Japanese HPO with Ogashima-san uh, and, and pulled that into Phenotips. There is a, a PR that is mostly ready to merge, uh, but I'm hoping to actually get that pulled into core uh, as part of this this biohackathon, we also started working on an API to connect different tools that have some sort of diagnosis suggestion functionality under a common API. And interesting work that has happened over the last year is actually sort of the formalization and almost finalization of a GA for GH standard called PhenoPackets that I think will be very, very useful for helping you know, handle the bulk of that work. So I would like to bring that back up uh, with Fujiwara-san while I am here and see if we can, we can build in a, a prototype during this week. Uh, the main effort for this hackathon uh, was proposed by Fujiwara-san, and I think this is a really exciting opportunity to work on building a searchable directory of specialists, Nambio specialists, uh, for people with uh, rare diseases to help them find those specialists where they are in their country um, or around the world. So I've worked on some past work uh, with a student uh, a few years ago on this, and I'm interested in seeing what we can expand uh, from the resources that are, that are represented here and elsewhere. Uh, so Orphanet, Monarch Initiative, PubMed, uh, we did some text mining as part of that to try to understand specialists based on their publication history, but I think there's more that we can do um, here. And I think it would be really, really useful to have sort of at the end of this event some sort of tangible you know, website that people could actually go to, to to navigate this information. I think that would be a really good uh, deliverable. And then one of these, uh, I like to have a few different projects while I'm here just to see how uh, things work out. And so one of these side projects that I'm interested in um, and interested in talking to people about is representing uh, family history, pedigree information in FHIR and ideally uh, over RDF. Uh, this is an inter important bit of information for genomic medicine, but there aren't really good standards for exchanging this data or good schemas for exchanging this data, especially to and from health record systems. Uh, FHIR is this emerging standard in that space, but its support for this information is uh, hasn't been thoroughly trialed, I would say. Uh, and this is one of the current projects that I'm working on within the Global Alliance, uh, their clinical and phenotypic data capture work stream, and so I think this might be a good opportunity to move that forward a little bit amongst the rest of this work. Uh, so I would say, uh, domo arigato uh, gozaimasu, and you can pull me up on, on Slack if you are interested in any of this. Thank you very much.